I'm going to show you the best CAD workflow for engineering. This is a $150 an hour skill. When you start to make parts, you have to remember everything's going to eventually boil down to a component part. And in some cases, those stick together into assemblies based on constraints. In Autodesk Fusion, those are going to be joints. So if you have two circle centers, each one of those is going to have a joint. You're going to stick them together. Also, parts need to have part numbers. Every single component you have needs to have a home. You don't know when you start a project how many of these components you're going to have. So we do a part numbering scheme here at Aqua Engineering where we have like a thousand level would be assemblies. We have 2000 level, which would be machined parts. 3000 level might be like 3D prints or plastic parts. 4000 is like fasteners and miscellaneous. I have a 7000 category, which would be circuit boards and components. Um, on up to like eight or 9,000, which would even be tooling that you might need for your project in a prototype sense. So you give everything a part number so it has a home. And this is just a foundation so that you don't end up with weird stuff like final, 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 really final, extra certain it's final. We don't want stuff like that. So we rev it, rev A, rev B, rev C. You could do versioning, semantic versioning, V, you know, major minor patch, V1.0.1, that type of thing but it all comes back to that part number. And then in Autodesk Fusion, every single part has its own file. I'm not a fan of spawning bodies or parts off of an assembly. I really try to avoid that. In some extreme cases, I'll do that when there's like no easier way, but I really try to do it. It's a little bit harder in the beginning because you have to write down notes on paper in some cases, but I recreate each component so it has its own part number, its own home in Autodesk Fusion. Once each component is made, we bring each one into an assembly and we joint it together with everything else. So everything's fully constrained. Once we do that, we have an assembly that would be that thousand level assembly and you have each component part. You can then take measurements. You can measure stuff relative to the assembly or between components. You use that to update your CAD as you're iterating through the design. This is the workflow that earns $150 an hour and it's completely rock solid. I've done this for 21 years since the Pro-E days. Autodesk Fusion kind of wants to steer you in a more artistic way where you don't have to really be rigid like that. But I think that this is the workflow that will solve all of your problems moving forward if you're getting into CAD and you want to start to build your own $150 an hour design firm or engineering business. If you made it this far, you might want to save this video because there's going to be a lot more content like this coming. It's always flowing out of me, okay? Every few days, you're going to get something valuable like this. You can save it. Before you know it, you're going to know everything that I know. All right? Thanks so much for watching. Adios.